thing that you're watching this video because it may just save your life. Pay attention because I'm not going to waste your time here. We don't have any time to waste as it is. Ebola is in New York, it's in New Jersey, it's a virus, and while it isn't contagious, it just simply is impossible to contain it. That is not a scare tactic. It's the cold hard truth. It's hard to accept that fact, but the sooner that you do accept it, the sooner you're going to see your survival rate raised dramatically. Look, viruses spread, even if regulations are slightly more severe now. It doesn't matter. People with Ebola were allowed to run amok in a city of 8.8 .8 million people, and they weren't even aware they had it. They went to subway trains. They went jogging in the city. That virus spread, and it's only a matter of time now, and I'm sorry, it will. You need to start preparing yourself. You need to find and become more aware of the dangers and how to deal with this new threat. Because, mark my words, if you live out in the middle of nowhere, it is coming. And you'll either be ready or you won't. My hope is, is that you will. Because I know right now some of the people who are watching this video will end up being safe and won't be exposed. But there are a lot of you out there right now who will be. And if this video and this product saves your life, well, then it all would have been worth it. You may be saying to yourself, hey, Ebola isn't a big deal. They've got it under control. Well, the thing is, they don't. And if they did, it never would have gotten to New York. Hey, it never would have gotten to Houston if they really knew what they were doing. But now, well, the cat's out of the bag. When you drop food on a dirty floor, you can't pick it up and eat it without it being dirty. Some of us out there love the five second rule, but that really just is because we're okay with the fact that we don't have to throw away the food and can cook something else. The dirt on the floor is tolerable. We can just pretend that it didn't happen or, hey, it's okay. But the fact is, the food will always have dropped on the floor and it will always be unsanitary. My point is, is that you can't make the past unhappen. Ebola is out there now. So we've made this comprehensive guide of everything you need to know to be prepared. It covers everything from the origin of the virus to how it spreads to prevention tactics. We'll even tell you how to be ready for a self-imposed quarantine if it comes to that and the potential Ebola economic crisis. And let's be honest, none of us hopes that it will happen. I didn't want to have to write this guide. But it needs to be done. You prepare for the worst and you hope for the best. But you might not have the time to do the research I've done and cover the bases that I've covered. So this guide is for you. Use it and potentially save your life. But I really, really hope that it never comes to that. Thank you so much for watching this.